afternoon. My name is Beth Nunez, and I am the current principal of Grace Christian Academy on Saipan. So for today, I have, I have three questions that I would like to interview you on. Okay. First question being, what did you expect of GCA when you first arrived to Saipan? Okay, so when I first came here, I was 22 years old. I was young, long time ago. I'm now 53. It's a long time ago. Um, I really didn't know what to expect from GCA. I had just graduated from college. Um, but what I did know is that I was supposed to come here. I knew that this is where God wanted me to come, even though I didn't know much about it. Um, and I'm so thankful I did. I will say this, the first year was really, really hard because I was young and I was so far away from home from my family and I didn't know anybody here. Um, and um, yeah, it was a really challenging year, but it was a year that I wouldn't, like that I would never change. Uh, I, I learned so much. And I think when we put ourselves in positions of, of unfamiliar places, unfamiliar things, it's where we, in difficult situations, it's where we learn to rely on God more. And that's what I did. And um, that first year of difficulty was really a great year of learning how to trust God more in my life. Okay. Question two. How has GCA treated you your whole time teaching or being in GCA? GCA has been great to me. Um, actually, when I came back, when I came here in 1991, I was the first American teacher that GCA had ever hired. So I was like, um, it was I was new for them as well. And they really, everybody that was here back then in 1991 up to this point has really uh, become family for me. I've known. I mean, I have friends from all the way back then that I'm still friends with now, that I'm still teaching with here now, and they have become much more than just coworkers. They've become family, and I'm so thankful to GCA that it has provided a family for me. As I mentioned in your previous question, I don't have, you know, of course I have my children and my husband here now, but I don't have like my parents, my sister, my brothers, those kind of things. And But the folks here at GCA have become family to me, and so uh, GCA has been really good to me. Last question. What is one thing you would change about GCA? So I've been thinking about this question and I think it's more of what I would want to improve. There's a lot of things that I would like to improve here. Uh, for example, I would love for us to be able to have a, a more maybe up-to-date science lab. Uh, I would love for us to be able to have a covered basketball court, things like that. Um, I know that you know, uh, no school is perfect, but I know we're doing our best. I know that we're doing our very best to provide a, a loving environment and a quality education uh, here at GCA, but I also know that there's things that we can improve on. And so I think maybe those are two things that I'd love to improve on is our science, a more up-to-date science lab and better maybe outdoor areas that are covered for the kids, I think. Yeah. Well. Okay, that wraps up this interview. Is there anything you would like to say to the class of 2022? Yes. I, you are the reason that I'm here. I'm, I'm gonna look at you too, Spencer. And you guys are the reason that I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I love you guys and I, I hope that you know that. I hope that you know that with all of my heart. Um, I feel like, I mentioned that the staff and faculty have become like family to me, and I feel like the students are like children to me. And uh, I don't know if you realize how much of a of my heart that you have. You have a huge part of my heart. I love you all very much, and I'm proud of you, and I'm excited for all that God has I have for you all. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Beth. You're welcome. I love you, Spencer. Love you too, Ms. <laughs>